is me officially welcoming you to the reading vlog. Um, excuse the oily appearance of my face. Um, I have some pseudo cram for my eczema flare up. So this time I'm going to try and actually make a reading vlog. Um, because, you know, last time it turned out, like, just being a monthly vlog because a lot of things went on and I just wasn't in the mood to pick up the camera and talk to it. <laughs> so, obviously, you clicked into the video knowing that it was going to be about if we were villains. Um, I started a few days ago and I'm already more than a hundred pages into it. Um, hold on. Let me let the record show. <laughs> um, yeah, I am enjoying it a lot. It just whisked me right into the story and... Um, I'm really loving how sensual it is. Um, I wasn't expecting it, like, I, I don't know, I like it because The Secret History is also one of my favorites, and there was some allusion to sensuality in it, but not as much as I would have liked because I am a very sensual person. So yeah, I really like that about this book and all the imagery of like the campus. They go to this very elite acting school called Delisher. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but um, yeah, it's very cozy and tensions definitely are arising between the seven friends. And it's also been making me want to read Macbeth because they're, it's about theater kids and there's a lot of Shakespearean influence. I did read Hamlet this summer and Macbeth is on my TBR for this fall, but I just haven't been really feeling like reading it because I need to read an annotated version, but it's making me want to read it, but I don't know if I actually will because I'm gonna be kind of busy for the next month. I don't know, I just want to be absorbed in this book. I had a really bad sleep last night, so I finished some schoolwork this morning, and now I'm just going to study a bit of French, and then I- oh, I have something to do. I have to, um, sew some satin fabric into my old bralettes. That's a whole other story I won't get into right now. Um, so I, I'm gonna do that while watching Gilmore Girls, and then I think I will just read in bed, which is my favorite thing to do, one of my favorite things to do. So yeah, um, and I'll try to keep giving you reading updates. Um, I am trying to savor this because it's my first time reading it, and I've been it's been on my TBR for three years like ever since I got into Dark Academia, and I'm just like, this is the last time I'll ever read it for the first time, and I want to just, like, I don't know what's gonna happen yet, and I just, ah, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah.
was going to do a little reading update last night, but I was really stressed. I had really bad anxiety, and I just needed the night to myself. I am now 200 pages in, which is about halfway, and trust me, I would have devoured this in one or two days if I had the time, but I'm a busy gal. I wish I could just like lie in bed all day and just finish this, but it's also really like I just want to savor this because I won't ever get to read it for the first time again and i am it's just been so long since I've really felt immersed in a story and um, this is how I feel reading If We Were Villains. Now I'm gonna try to talk about how I feel about it uh, without giving any spoilers um, which is kind of hard. I'm not good at talking about books as it is. Um, so this book follows a group of seven friends um, in their fourth year in a very elite college. Um, and they do like Shakespeare plays. They did Caesar and Macbeth, and their iteration of Macbeth was so cool. Like, I loved it. It was out in nature, in the woods, in the lake. Very sensual, as I said. Um, and usually, they always have, they always play similar characters, like each person. They're the villain, or the hero, or the temptress or a supporting character um but then for macbeth it was like this traditional fourth year um thing they do where they get their roles in a little male thing this is like in the 90s and they're not supposed to tell each other who they're playing and they don't get to rehearse they just do it on the night of halloween um, and their, all their roles got sort of switched around a bit, and one of the friends gets, like, really mad about it because he's, a, he has a very big ego, and he feels like he should always play, like, the main hero person. And then that's when some tensions start to arise, and it just keeps building and building, and then it gets out of control, and then something happens. One of them dies, and I thought it was going to be a certain way, like, but it's not. <laughs> um, that's just me trying to not spoil things. And, um, and then in the aftermath, how do I talk about this now? Um... So, one of them dies, right? And then the whole equilibrium of their friendship is kind of thrown off balance. And now I think I'm starting to see some changes and new tensions. Like, is their friendship going to fall apart? But like, oh my god, I don't want that to happen because their friendship is so sweet. And... Yeah, I don't know. Right now they're on Thanksgiving break and everybody's back home and you get to see like um what you get a peek into Oliver's um home life, family life. Um so we'll see what happens in the rest of the book because uh I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> um Okay, I think that's enough for now. Um, but yesterday I spent the whole day working on an article for work. Um, yes, I actually have not, um, mentioned it on this channel yet. Um, 
So I now have a job on top of being a university student. I am a copywriter. Um, that was what was happening back in my September vlog, like why I was so anxious and so many things were happening. Like I applied to this internship, which was social media marketing and i didn't expect to hear back at all i just did it because i thought the job description was cool but then i heard back and then i had two interviews with them and they really liked my resume and they said they actually want me to be their copywriter instead of a social media marketing person and I was like, that's so cool because copywriting is something I've been looking into more and realized that I have the skills for and that I want to do. So that was really cool. So yeah, I've just been more stressed lately because I have school and work. I'm trying to find a balance between that still. Um... And this morning I was finishing up the article and I just studied some French and now I'm just going to continue my psychology course. I don't have to do it today but I want to because I want to have the full day off tomorrow. So I'm pretty anxious though still. So I am probably just gonna do that for one hour or one a little more than an hour and then we'll see if I will work out today I think that will really make me feel better so yeah Perception was off. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Yay. a big lake to go over there you see a tent or maybe there's two tents I'm not sure but I'm gonna go there two weeks ago Gigi and I went that way all the way there to a bridge and walked all the way there but today I'm gonna try to cross that bridge um, I've never gone this way before, so hopefully it's going to be alright, and yeah, <laughs> I'm on a bridge right now, but I'm not sure if I can get off it, because I've never been this way before. 
Um, there is a lane for people to walk on, but like I'm supposed to get off at an exit because it's right next and I don't know, I'm scared and it's actually pretty hot today. Why does this always happen when I'm by myself? <laughs> Okay, I did manage to get off the bridge. That was just a really short walk. It was like five minutes. And my bangs are crazy, sorry, but I'm walking. <laughs> um, and I'm almost there already. So that is a much faster walk than how I went with my sister last time. Um, and here's a very nice little patch a forest as well. Wow. <laughs> and I'm sweating like I am overdressed for this weather. And there's the bridge coming up over there. I just have to cross that and then I'll be pretty much there. This is the other side of the bridge, but I'm going over to that side. Ta-da! This is the side. Um, and I was there just now, somewhere in that vicinity. But look at the trees. I'm going home now. I stayed here reading for about um, half an hour maybe. Took a lot of pictures um, and there were actually a lot of people. More people than last time because last time we came here it was pretty gloomy and cold and windy and today the weather is like perfect. It's the last warm day. And I knew I really needed a day out in nature. So I came here and now I'm feeling really good. There were lots of people out just like 
not really camping, but they took their equipment out to just stay here for the afternoon. And it just seems so nice. Like they all have such good equipment and they just sit here for the afternoon. Oh yeah, and there's a group of women um, like dancing together with music, which is so cute. Um, yeah, I feel really good. I'm really glad I came. And I don't want to finish the book because it's so good. But yeah, it's 3.15ish. Um, and I think it'll be like half an hour, 40 minutes to get home. Maybe faster because um, now I know where I'm going, so. Yep. Yay. Bye bye. I'm already back just a block from where my compound is. Um, and that only took 15 minutes. What? Cause like when I went, I wasn't sure if everything was gonna go through. Like if I was gonna be able to exit the bridge, you know, it was all very weird. Also, I went around a block that I forgot wasn't gonna lead to the bridge like I would still have to walk back which also added extra time so that is much faster and I am just sad that I barely went to that patch of forest over the past year because I didn't know I could go that way um, and I barely went on walks over the past few months. I basically didn't because, um, like last winter I went on a few walks. Mm. And I was waiting for it to get warmer in the spring so that I could go on more walks. But then, you know, the citywide extreme lockdown happened. So I didn't leave the house for like two months. And then the summer was just too hot for my eczema and everything to deal with. So yeah. But I'm just really happy I got into nature today because I really need it. I've been having such bad anxiety lately. Um, I hope that was enjoyable for you to watch. Sipped 